Hi, in this video I want to talk about ExistDB and the new messaging and replication library. First make sure that in Package Manager you have messaging and replication Java libraries installed as well as the application. And here our ActiveMQ broker is running on a remote box and you know, we can see that it is up and what I'd like to demonstrate is sending messages to an Arduino so here I have a Mega 2560 Arduino with a Wi-Fi shield and an SD card built in and let's go through the MQ connect function uh, first we're gonna create the pub sub client which is also a free library available on the internet. To, we're going to connect to our server on port 1883, which uh, I did not have to make any changes to active MQ configuration. I just started it up and the MQTT transport is initialized by default. And we define a function to call back when we receive a message. And we're going to connect to the broker using our ID which is the Arduino's MAC address. Then we're going to subscribe to three topics with a QoS of one. And here I was playing around with wildcards. So the first thing when we connect is we're going to publish our ID to the device Arduino advertise topic. And here we can see that we're actually subscribing to advertisements of any type of device. Then we can use these two topics to send a message to all the Arduinos or this one specifically identified by the MAC address. So let's go in into the messaging and replication application. Messaging and send message and we're gonna edit this script to meet our needs. So first we're going to define the broker IP and we're going to, the destination is going to be dynamic topics and here it's going to be m2m dot device dot arduino dot any and hello and there should be a period as well let's make sure we have that correct m2m device arduino any okay and one thing we have to add to our message properties is to disable the message compression and we're going to send one message this content so let's start up our Arduino. And we have to wait for it to connect to the Wi-Fi and connect to the message queue broker. And here let me show you the, the callback for a consumed message is going to give us the topic, the payload, and the length of the payload. So it doesn't look like we have access to the message properties, which is okay. Okay, so here we can see that this Arduino has executed this line and has published its ID. And since we're subscribing to it, we also consume the advertisement. So here we can see that the connection between the Arduino and ActiveMQ broker is working. So now let's send a message from within Exist. And here it is. Here is the message. And if we want to target just this Arduino, let's change this to the ID and let's send it a thousand messages.
And that's it for this demonstration. Um, I hope to elaborate a little bit more maybe on the publishing end. But this is pretty cool. Thanks for watching.